In the 21st topic, where we need to find volume by the method of washes, it is hard to find the inner and the outer radius. Now, for example, over here, let the region R be bounded by the graphs y equals 1 fourth x squared. Now, 1 fourth x squared means it's a parabola, quarter of it. Uh, 1 fourth is the uh, coefficient of x squared. So that doesn't matter much, but we know it's a parabola, something like this since it's positive x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 okay then the compute the volume saw of the solid form by revolving r about the x-axis now let's understand the basic of this this is a basic graph now here you have the part of the uh, parabola from year to year How, when will you stop x starts at 0 and y at 1 so now this is the this is the part the outermost stopping point you have to rotate this along this particular axis now it is very important for you to know which is the inner and outer radius is this the inner I'll draw it in blue is this the inner or the outside one the inner it is very simple you must look along the axis this is the axis x-axis see which is inner from the x-axis from x-axis this is in the inside one whereas the outer radius would be this one because this is the only part that is being revolved then all is empty space so we are just revolving this part which I have drawn in blue will be revolved so it will come like this something like this down as well okay so now from this axis x-axis the inner radius is basically this curve and the outer radius will be this straight line. What is this line? Straight line. The radius is 1. Over here, you can see the same thing. This hollow space is formed by it. We are just interested in the outer part, this one. So what we do is, by the method of washer, outermost length. What is the outermost length from year to year? It is 1. Why? Because it's given, right? This is the distance. 1. And then, what is the inner radius? Inner radius is varying because it is a curve. And this is the inner radius. So, it varies. That is the equation itself. Now, y equals, r equals, uh, capital R is outer radius 1. And small r is this particular equation, 1 fourth x squared. That is how we take it. And then, we will just substitute in the formula. You equate these both. When you equate these both, you will get the... Uh, x value sorry when you equate these both you will get the uh, this intersection point sorry now the intersection point is at x equals 2 and minus 2 you can't consider minus 2 we are considering the positive side over here only the right side so it's plus 2 that is the intersection point we will know and then we can easily solve from x of 0 to 2 the limit intersection point is for the limit 0 to 2 and we can easily solve it we have already done this now let's look at the next problem here the line y equals 2 now same thing the graph and everything is same but only thing is see this is the graph we are rotating revolving around this line so what is happening around this line isn't it which is the inner radius now now the inner radius from 2 to 1 that is again 1 outer radius would be the curve part from this axis and only this will be revolved okay and that will come over here something like this that is what is happening we need to understand what is exactly say this is the part and this is the part hollow is not required so we find outer radius that's the curve minus the inner radius this is the thing okay that then we can use the same method and we can solve it up just the formulas and everything in the first case the inner radius was the curve and the outer radius was the straight line that's one see from year to year it is one you can see see in this you can once you can sorry this one over here you can see outer radius is a one line and this is the curve i hope this is clear if you're getting confused look from where it is being rotated and from there that point which is the inner and the outer radius